All right, thank you. Um, one of the first things I like about Penny's game is that the, the origin is known. Uh, so this appeared in 1969 in the Journal of Recreational Mathematics. Uh, and basically, uh, the problem is that you have two players playing a game uh, where they've picked a sequence of outcomes for three flips of a fair coin. Uh, now, the eight possibilities are all equally likely. Uh, but if player one picks heads, 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 and player two picks heads, tails, heads, it turns out the odds are in player two's favor. Uh, and the question here was just by how much. Uh, and because I have six minutes, we'll just skip to the answer here. Uh, the odds in favor of heads, tails, heads is three to two. Uh, and from this question arose the game. Uh, so what you have are two players, and player one selects um, a sequence of three outcomes from flipping a fair coin. And then player two gets to select three outcomes from the flipping of the coin. Uh, and who uh, an umpire tosses uh, the coin, and whosever sequence comes up first is the winner. Uh, and you go with the, suppose everybody put in a dollar, and whoever wins gets both dollars. Uh, what happens here uh, is that it turns out no matter what player one picks, there's a pick for player two that puts the odds in player two's favor. Uh, in this case, the better um, outcome, you can travel the arrow backwards. So if you look at heads, heads, heads in the corner, um, you'll see that leads to tails, heads, heads, which is different from the original question. Uh, but what we're looking at here are the best odds, because it turns out that if player one picks heads, 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 player two with tails, heads, heads has a seven to one advantage. And as we see by the chart, again, whatever player one picks, player two can pick something uh, that's better. So the first question that comes about with Penny's game is, what are the odds in everybody's favor? Uh, the second question right here, if you pick a sequence and just start flipping a coin, how long should you have to wait on average uh, for your sequence to appear? Uh, so that's the wait time. The number of flips until three heads should appear uh, should average about 14. The number of uh, flips you have to wait for heads, heads, tails uh, is 16. And if I was able to talk slower, which I'm not allowed to, uh, but if I was able to talk slower, what we'd notice is that goes back to the odds, because the wait time is exactly twice the odds. Well, uh, a lot of the articles that I found on Penny's Game uh, says then you can look at this in terms of other things, uh, such as, and, and a lot of times the such as was roulette. And of course, roulette wheel, you have red and black. Uh, but what people seem to forget is a roulette wheel also has green. Uh, for those who will catch me on the difference here, this is an American roulette wheel. It's got two green spaces as opposed to a European roulette wheel, which has only one green space. Uh, everything I'm doing sticks with the American version. But uh, what I want to look at here is different ways to interpret that green space. Uh, so one way is to say that the green space is just ignored. In which case, spins of black, black, green, black counts as an appearance of three blacks in a row. The other possibility that we'll look at, green is a wild card, so green can be counted as black or red, uh, depending on what your sequence is, in which case black, black, green would count as an appearance of black, black, and black. So uh, the two questions. Uh, What's the probability if player one goes black, 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 and player two goes red, black, black, which is the heads or tails equivalent? Uh, and then I also did a second case here just to show red, red, black versus black, red, red. And what we see is the probability that player one wins in the first case when green is ignored is 1 eighth. Uh, the probability that player one wins uh, for red, red, black is 1 fourth. Uh, backtracking for a second, even though we did it in terms of odds, um, those are the exact same odds that we had with the fair coin, which does make sense. It's what you'd expect. If you're going to ignore the green, then really what you have are two outcomes, whether they're black or red or heads or tails, two equally likely outcomes and the same probabilities. Uh, on the other hand, when green is wild, uh, then there's a couple things to look out for. Um, one is, of course, you can't just ignore the green. The other is that you can actually have a tie going on. 
So for the first case, player one picks black, black, black. The probability player one wins goes up a little bit now. It's not 0.125, it's about 0.131. Uh, probability of player one wins if it's red, red, black. Again, that goes up a little bit. It's not one quarter, it's a little more than one quarter. Uh, for those who are inclined to see what goes on behind the scenes, oops, yeah. Uh, this is where it comes from. If green is ignored and I choose black, 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 then black, black, black is a winner, or green, black, 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 or black, green, black, black. Um, what happens is whether I go uh, and win in four, or in five, or in six, uh, the probability here when you work it out is where do I put those last two black spots? Um, so what we have here is a sum, n is the number of flips, or spins I should say, the number of spins until a winner is declared. Uh, n minus one choose two, that's where you put the last two black uh, outcomes. Uh, and then I just added together over all the possibilities, a little change of variable, and for those who remember their Cal2, uh, this is just uh, sequences in series, it's the second derivative of one over one minus x. Uh, for the other possibility, the wait times, here again are my possible sequences, and if green is wild, I see that wait times are different, um, or sorry, I should say when green is ignored, the wait times are different. It was 14 before uh, when you were just flipping the coin, now it's 14.77. And again, that's kind of what you'd expect. Uh, you're introducing this extra thing, which while being ignored, well, it does take up time. Uh, there's where the wait times come from. It looks an awful lot like expected value, uh, and more or less it is. Again, for those who wanted to see the guts, how many seconds? And I'm done. 